Welcome back to this YouTube channel. In this episode, we will analyze two dermatoscopes that are the top of the line of their respective brands. These are the Heine Delta 30 and the Iluco IDS 1100. I'd like to thank Serviderma and particularly Francesa Nicolas for the loan of both units and for being very helpful along the way. I take the opportunity to mention that I have no conflict of interest with Serviderma, nor with any of the two brands that appear in this analysis, although I have given a talk recently for Derm Light, which is a brand of the competition and I have received fees for it. The Delta 30 comes in a solid, generous sized box, which includes on one side a rigid case where the dermatoscope is perfectly padded and protected. However, the case is rather large and doesn't fit easily in your bag or backpack. In the other compartment you will find a high quality charger, but with an old port instead of the modern and convenient USB-C. Still, it is appreciated that Heine provides with a proper charger, rather than just a cable as many other manufacturers prefer to do. The Iluco model comes in a more compact box, with foam interior protection where the dermatoscope is housed. Underneath the device you will find a velvet transport bag to avoid scratches, but in case of accidents or fall it will not prevent important damage. The ease of transport is much greater though. Iluco does not include a charger per se, instead you are provided with the ordinary charging cable. Charging dogs are sold separately with both manufacturers, but with the Luco the connectivity to use for charging at the bottom of the terminal is different if a charging dog is to be used. That being the case, the recommended model to buy is the 1100C instead of the regular 1100. The build quality of Heine's Delta 30 is the best in its class. It is a robust device with very good grip, with an excellent finish and an unparalleled external appearance. It has a 32mm lens with a field of view of 30mm and a 10-fold magnification, which allows for an extremely detailed view of the lesions. Viewing through the viewfinder is very comfortable and pleasant, with very smooth and precise diopter adjustment. The central power button is flanked to the left by one switch marked with the letter P, designed to change between polarized and non-polarized light, and to the right with the light intensity control, which has three positions. When polarized light is active, a blue indicator located on the left side of the body is illuminated. It also has three light indicators on the ventral part that show the remaining battery. Iluco IDS 1100 has a very attractive design, with a wide grip unusual among dermatoscopes. Its build quality is a bit inferior to that of Highness, but with the advantage of making it lighter in its handling. It has a 25mm diameter lens with a field of view of 22mm and a 10-fold magnification. The eyepiece, which also has dioptric adjustment, is pretty shallow and allows you to bring the eye closer, and the field of view is increased and this is particularly helpful when attaching mobile devices or cameras. The thread for the dioptric adjustment seemed somewhat less precise to me, and I've had to adjust it quite often because it got slightly modified with the use. The Luco Dermatoscope has a central button for turning the power on and off. To the left hand side there is a button marked with the letter P that alternates between polarized and non-polarized light. On the opposite side the available button adjusts the light intensity in three steps. By positioning the buttons on the flanks I found myself pressing them unintentionally and it takes a while to get used to their position. Finally the IDS 1100 has a light indicator near the charging port which is activated when the device is receiving power. Both dermatoscopes have a very capable battery, although the highness seems to last longer according to my experience. The range of accessories is wide in both cases and they can be purchased separately. For example, contact discs for hard-to-reach areas such as interdigital folds. With the Luca there are two options of 6 and 8mm 
and with Heine there is a single option that I estimate also to be about 8mm. There are other accessories available, but with the Luco the list is very extensive and includes for example the possibility of buying an adapter to attach mirrorless cameras of different brands, which is not available in the case of Heine. When taking photos with a smartphone, Iluco had a specific case for my iPhone 8 Plus, which ensured perfectly line pictures. On the other hand, Heine had some specific cases but not for my model, so I used a universal adapter that I attached to the case in the position that best fit with the main camera of my mobile. As indicated earlier, the Iluco has a very generous field of view when taking pictures with a smartphone as we can see in the image comparing both devices. Heine's dermatoscope has a dioptric adjustment ring with a significant thickness and the camera lens gets separated by a considerable distance with respect to the dermatoscope's lens and as a result the field of vision is not as ample as with the Iluco. A minor detail that I didn't like about Iluco's dermatoscope is the integrated 10mm reticle of the faceplate that shows the name of the brand. It seems a bit distracting and I'd prefer Heine's alternative of using a minor symbol that doesn't interfere with the image as much. And what about image quality, you may wonder? It is excellent in both cases, as expected for the best devices both manufacturers produce. I'd say the Heine is a small step ahead, although I think it really is a matter of preference. There is a striking aspect when it comes to the tonality produced by the LED lights of each dermatoscope. I took the same photo with both devices and as you can see, the Heine generates an image with a yellowish tint, the Luca with a bluish one, and I also took the chance and compared them to my Dermlight Photo X and this one has a slight magenta cast. The price of the Heine, according to the Spanish representative website on the day of the publication of this video, is 1200 euros plus taxes and that of the Iluco of 740 plus taxes. These are two very capable and high performance devices. I would recommend trying them out and check for the quality of the images, the grip, weight, portability, your preference regarding color tonality and the degree of magnification both in the vision through the eyepiece and also while taking pictures with the smartphone or camera. Have a look at some comparative photos between the Luca, the Heine and the Dermlight Photo X. Once again, thank you for your attention, hit the like button if you've liked the video and consider subscribing to the channel to keep updated with new videos. See you soon!